So what I've learned is that you want to store your citrus, like your lemons, your limes, your grapefruits and oranges in the refrigerator. They can last only a few days to a week at room temperature. So keep them in the refrigerator in a bowl or even in a bag and they will last weeks for you. These lemons have been in my refrigerator literally for weeks. I It was a big bag that I bought at Sam's Club and I kept some in a bowl on my counter and they shriveled within a week and a half. And these bad boys are still going for over two and a half weeks. Four herbs. What I sometimes do is I will put a paper towel in the bag with this, keep the air, like create a bubble like this with a paper towel. That's what I usually do, but there are times I'll cut and trim the ends and I'll take one of my canning jars and put some water in there and then have that in my fridge and that will last quite a while. Do this with parsley. Basil does better out of your refrigerator than in. So berries, they could get moldy and mushy very quickly. So let me share with you how I prepare these for the refrigerator. So I've got a big bowl of water here, I'm not sure how much, but you could put like three tablespoons or three capfuls in. I don't measure. Any ones that I notice that are starting to bruise, I'll just, I'll still clean them, pick out the bruising part, and those are the ones that get tossed in the freezer. All right, I'm just gonna let these sit here for a few minutes. You don't even need the salt. You're still gonna find bugs popping up. Look at that. Bleh. All right, I have a strainer on a towel and I'm going to take these out, get them in the strainer, rinse them under cold water, and I'm going to repeat this process. So one way you could store and reuse the container that you air breathable container that your strawberries came in. Just put some paper towel down at the bottom to soak up the moisture and then you can add those back in. You can also cut the tops off and lay them upside down like this. But I'm gonna make sure before I put them in that I pat them dry and get all the excess water off. But you can, like I said, clean the stems and put them upside down like this. Now, when I do this, I'm looking for all the really, really good ones. The ones that are a little bruised, but are still good, are going to be put in a Ziploc bag and put in the freezer for our shakes and smoothies. And there you have it. Your strawberries can stay nice and fresh for you while in the refrigerator a little longer. And these are ready to go right into the freezer. All right, I'm going to do the same thing with my blueberries. So what I did was I reused the container that it came in because it's breathable. I put down a paper towel and then added my blueberries in, picked off all the stems, and this will stay good in our refrigerator for a week. Lettuce. I think this is probably a big one along with spinach and how we store our lettuce to keep it nice and crisp and fresh. Here's a couple of ways you could do it. So I will say that when I get my lettuce in packages like this from Sam's Club or Costco, they really do well in my fridge. The tops here I end up chopping off anyway and I'll put a paper towel in and it does great. But if you don't have room for this big thing, I totally get it. So. Like I said, you can keep it in here with a paper towel. It does fine. It lasts a long time for me. Or, I'll have some ready for salads. I'll then add this to my salad spinner. I've already used this lettuce in meals, as you can tell. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these last two heads wrapped in here with a paper towel, okay? And I'm gonna put that in my refrigerator because it's gonna do well. I've never had an issue. And then with these two heads, I'm going to wash it up in my salad spinner and then I'll bag it. Now I'm gonna be doing this a few times and get all the water out. Then I go in 
and I just give it a little rub. If you have the room in your refrigerator, you can put this in a mason jar with a paper towel and it does really well. Now I have ready to go lettuce. When I wanna make a salad, I'm gonna get all the air out. And this will last a good while in your fridge. More than a week. And there you go. If your spinach already comes in a container with the lid, mine doesn't, all you have to do is take the spinach out, line it with paper towels, and put paper towels on top, and reuse what you have. But this container that I got, it was just sealed. So what I'm gonna do is line it with some paper towel, put in my spinach, and if I get to this later and not fresh from the store, I will look for any spinach that is already bruised or anything like that. I'm gonna take a paper towel and put it on top because this creates a lot of condensation and I don't want it to wilt. So then I'm just going to put a lid on this Get the air out, keep it in the refrigerator. This will stay good for like seven to 14 days, nice and crisp and green. So you could throw it in salads, cook with it. It'll be so good. I'm gonna do the vinegar and water also. I love the mini cucumbers, but they will get nasty in these bags. I'll just let these soak here for a little bit. I'm gonna try not to use so many paper towels, but I'm just gonna use a clean cloth and dry these off really good. I really like these Rubbermaid containers. I'll leave a link down below for them, but they seal really good and like keep air out. Okay, I am gonna use a paper towel. I snack on these so fast during the week, you guys, that they don't even make it a week. Honestly, and they're gonna do awesome in there. We love asparagus in our house, but sometimes the tops will start to wilt, get a little mushy. Here's what I do to keep them nice and crisp. A lot of the times I will trim them, wrap them up in paper towels, put them in um, one of the Rubbermaid containers or a Ziploc bag. You can also put them in a mason jar with water and stick them up in your fridge if you have room to do it that way also. So what I'm gonna do is just snap off the ends. I'm also gonna give these a good rinse in the sink. With my clean towel, hey, I'm just gonna use the bag that they came in today and I'm not going to seal the bag because I want the air to go through but I am going to wrap it in a paper towel and asparagus doesn't last long in my house <laughs> either we love it we eat it for breakfast and for dinners so this will go in my crisper drawer as well when I buy big things like this of cabbage. You could take it out of the bag and put it in separate Ziploc bags, but if you don't want to waste all that plastic, go in with your paper towels. I'm also going to do another one on the other side. We're going to have half of this for dinner tonight, so this other half just gets put into meal rotation and this will help last longer. And then I'm just going to tape this down. And that's how I do my coleslaw. <laughs> that's coleslaw. If you wanna know what it is, turn on on its side. <laughs> that's coleslaw. All right, let's do Brussels sprouts. If you buy them in the bags and you haven't gotten to them fast enough to clean, all you have to do is just take the few top sprigs off 
and you're good to go. Just like that. But I'm gonna get them in my salad spinner and get them washed up. So then I took the Brussels sprouts, put it in this container with paper towels, and they're gonna do great in here for a while. So we're ready to use them. I'm gonna share with you what I do with celery. Now, this bag of celery turned on me very quickly, which is so weird. It's from Costco, never really had this issue, but for some reason, it's happening this time. Um, sometimes I'll just keep this in the refrigerator, pretty much normally, take out what I need, wash it up, and it does great. But when it starts to go bad, which some pieces are, this is what I do. And this is what you can do when your celery starts to get limp. This, well, right here isn't, but this is still doing good. It's still crisp, but you could do the same thing if your celery is going limp on you. I'm gonna get in here, take off the not good parts, okay? Whatever you're gonna store it in, if it's a Ziploc bag, if it's a container or a jar, add water. This will like rehydrate them, get them hard again, and it is amazing. And then you have your celery. No need to throw out this whole bag. This is the weirdest thing, guys. I'm glad I am sharing this with you because I've not had this happen to me with a bag of celery like this. I, we go through celery quick in our house, but I did have another stock I was going through. But still, this is bizarre for a Costco bag of celery. All right, I'm gonna grab this celery, put it in this strainer, and we're gonna wash it off. So like I said, you could use a baggie, you can use a jar, you can wrap it in aluminum foil. I've seen that done. For some reason, that wigs me out, I just can't. So with this celery, it needs to be used fairly quickly, but it's gonna do fine. I'm just gonna put it in this container. I'll have a link for these down below. These are also freezable. They have lids, they're awesome. And then I'm going to put about an inch or more of water in, so they're standing in the water. And this go around, they'll go stand it in my fridge like this, and they have an inch or so of water. They're gonna do awesome. Still use them for cooking and snacking perfect and they'll stay nice and crunchy for you okay let's talk about green onions there's a few ways you could do this um, you can actually chop them up and freeze them and then store one bunch if you want in a jar of water okay you'll put the water level just about to where it really starts to get green and wrap a bag over them and keep them in the, your refrigerator because they like humidity and they will stay crisp and perfect for you for weeks, okay? So you could do that or you could chop them up and freeze them. So I'm going to do both today because I have a few recipes this week that um, I'm gonna use these in and then these I could just add to salads down the road. Later, I can add the frozen ones to salads, baked potatoes, ramen, Oh my gosh, anything. I like using the white part too. I think they're just as delicious. And you can throw them in stir fries. They're still gonna be great. And they thaw really quick. After a while, all your containers seem to disappear. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this one, even though it's double-sided, big whoop. So we're gonna add these in here. All right, so this will go in the freezer and I can add this to anything and it'll be perfect. So now let's do the jar thing with these ones. I'm not cutting the roots off these, okay? We're gonna keep these on there. Already added my water in and I'm just going to place those down like that. So they hit, the water hits right where the green is showing. Then I'm gonna take this bag, just put it over this because they do like humidity, and I'm just going to stick this in the back of my refrigerator, and it's gonna do awesome. It'll last for a couple of weeks, you guys. Now I'm gonna wash up my radishes. I have a little bowl of water here. I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar in. I'm actually going to take these right off and get them washed up. And I'm gonna just rub this around. I'm gonna let it sit here for just a minute. I'm just getting off these little stem things. I'm gonna go rinse these out under the sink. I'm gonna dry these off with a paper towel before I put them in this container here. 
I am gonna put a piece of paper towel down at the bottom. And there you have it. Ready to go for some snackage. Let's talk avocados. Love them or hate them, they are hard to store. If you buy really hard avocados for the fact that you're not gonna get through them during the week fast enough, what you could do is just put those hard ones, store them right on your counter and you'll be fine when you need them. If you need them quickly, put them in a brown sack. You can also add in that sack an apple. The gas from that apple will help ripen that avocado and start softening it for you. If you bought some fresh avocado that you don't think are gonna last on your counter very long and they could go quickly, Put them in your refrigerator. They'll stay nice and hard for you and be perfect when you need them. So I've learned that tomatoes should not be stored in the refrigerator. They should actually be out on your countertop. If you notice that you're not going through them fast enough on your counter and they're starting to get really, really soft, stick them in your refrigerator so they can get nice and hard on you. All right, let's talk about our mushrooms. This could be a little tricky. This is a tip that I just learned. You wanna store them in a brown bag. I found that so fascinating. So these have been in a brown bag for a week now. And they are still perfect. And I will wash them when I need them. I don't wash them at all until I need them. I'll lightly wipe down the tops with a wet paper towel to get them clean. But these bad boys have been in here for a week and they are not wilting and they are storing beautifully. I like to buy the big, containers at either Sam's or Costco of mushrooms because we do a lot of sauteing in our house. We use zucchini and squash with onions and the and the mushrooms and it's so yummy. So I noticed that when I used to store them, I would store them in either a container or a paper or a plastic bag with a paper towel and they would still wilt up and get really mushy and gross. I just learned this tip about storing them in a brown paper sack and you guys, they're still perfect and it's been a week since they've been out of their container and it does stay in my refrigerator so and they're doing awesome so apples sometimes i leave them out on my counter or i store them in the refrigerator i've been storing them in the refrigerator a lot more lately so what i do is i give them a good wash with vinegar and water take the stickers off <laughs> obviously then i will store them on my counter or the refrigerator and I noticed that they do last longer in the refrigerator, so give that a try. To help my bananas last longer, I wrap the top of the stem with either aluminum foil or plastic wrap. And this helps keep them yellow much longer. If they start to get brown and soft, I can stick them in the refrigerator and that will help as well. So our refrigerators have our crisper drawers and there is a humidity level. I keep one of the one of the drawers on high humidity and these are for certain vegetables. So here's just an idea of some high humidity vegetables. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, cauliflower, cucumber, eggplant, green beans, okra, peas, peppers, and strawberries. And then you can have your other drawer for your low humidity. And here are some of the things that can go in that drawer. Apples, avocados, ripe bananas, melon, kiwi, figs, mangoes, papaya, pears, plantains, stone fruit like apricots, nectarines, and peaches. Okay friends, this is just some of the things that I do. And like I said, I don't have time right when we get home from the grocery store. I, I just put everything into the fridge until I could get to it. And like I said, sometimes it could take a full week to finally get all this done or I'll take an afternoon to get it done longer. And to help things not spoil, definitely menu plan. But I know that our lives can get crazy and sometimes our menu goes out the window. All right friends, thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon, bye.